celebration of life is set for next month to pay tribute to World War II veteran Helen Southern. I'm Michelle Hoffman, and for this week's Veterans in Focus, we honor her memory and show you how the community came together to make her last birthday wish come true. At the Navy lab, I was the first to analyze these explosive. You can see Ms. Helen Southern wasn't one who shied away from talking about her life and experiences. I think that's something to be proud of. Southern was most proud of her military career. After the World War II Navy veteran was medically discharged, she traveled the world and even worked at the Pentagon for nine years. No matter what she did, where life took her, and even when she lost her sight, music remained a big part of her life. After living for a century, the woman who did it all only had one more thing to cross off her bucket list. She wished to share her story. Oh, she had grand visions for sure. It was to have stacks of her book at Barnes and Noble. But first, it had to be written. Happy birthday to you. So last year on Southern's 101st birthday, Chris Six News and community members came together to make her birthday wish come true. Yes, we will do it. I will bring the recorder and we will spend a lot of time together. Martha De Simone volunteers her time to help veterans write their stories. So when she heard about Ms. Southern's wish, she was eager to start. How much time on average do you think you spent with her every week, every month? Definitely once a week and you don't go in there for a few minutes. It can be up to two and three hours. And after every meeting was recorded, I believe that the United, United States, States of America, America was God's gift, gift to, to the world. world. Pages were vigorously typed. If you run into a bump on the road, don't stop. But once Ms. Southern's story was completed, Martha noticed the 100-year-old needed a friend more than she needed a co-author. Her cognitive decline started to come in very quickly and it got to the point where I would prefer to just sit with her and hold her hand and, and listen to her. Martha remained by Southern's side until the final days of her life. Southern passed away on July 17th, 21 days shy of her 102nd birthday. De Simone says she will be remembered for her humor, wit, and perseverance. She kept everything alive as much as she could within her, all her passions. As for Southern's story, Martha tells me a copy has been given to a relative who has a background authoring books. And she was very elated, very pleased with it, very thankful that the family is able to preserve her legacy. Now, Southern's celebration of life is set for 3 p.m. on September 7th at the VFW Post in Flower Bluff. Anyone is invited. From the studio, I'm Michelle Hoffman with this week's Veterans in Focus.